that sound means perfect ice cream is ready. And that's because this ice cream is made in the Sage Smart Scoop ice cream machine. This ice cream machine has an internal compressor. That means it's like a mini freezer inside. Practically, this means it can make ice cream from start to finish in just under an hour. You don't have a tub, you put in the freezer and the whole thing is self-contained. The Smart Scoop can make ice cream, granitas, sorbets, frozen yogurts, all manner of frozen desserts. It's the same brushed steel as you'll find in other things in the Sage range. There are no other options, it just comes in this colour. There's a paddle that does the actual churning, a one litre tub, and that's it for bits and pieces. The control panel is simple, and just a few buttons and a dial to set the firmness of the mix you're creating. Essentially, the dial is a timer. How long does this machine churn for? To demonstrate how it works, here's a recipe for butterscotch ice cream my whole family love. Start by making a custard. Set some cream and milk over a low heat to simmer. And while that happens, whisk together brown sugar, five egg yolks and a pinch of salt. When the cream mixture is starting to bubble, tip a little into the egg yolks and whisk continually. Gradually add more cream until it's all combined. Add back to the heat and simmer over a medium low heat until it's thickened. How can you tell it's thickened? Run a finger across the back of a spoon and once it leaves a solid channel, it's ready. Pour this into a jug. Once this is done, you have two choices. You can dump it straight into the machine and get it going. I find you get better results if you let the custard cool in the fridge for at least an hour and then get the machine going. Set the dial to your desired setting. Pour the mixture in. This will then chill for 30 to 40 minutes. A few minutes before the end, a chime will sound and at this point you can add mixings. This could be chocolate, nuts, fruit. In this case, I'm adding fudge pieces. A few minutes later and the ice cream is ready to eat now, but it's extremely soft. I recommend you transfer to another container and freeze for a further hour before serving. Pro tip, save an old ice cream tub for this purpose. And there you have it, the best butterscotch ice cream. It's sweet, it's naughty, but with a texture that's great. Smooth, creamy, it's almost got a bite to it. It's got real texture. And it's the speed at which it freezes that makes it so delicious. The speed means that ice crystals don't fall, and that's what can create that crunchy, gritty taste in ice creams. I've had this device for seven years and I love it. Product it creates is delicious and really consistent. I'll link some more recipes that I've done over the years downstairs on my blog. The fact that you don't have a spare bucket or pail to put in the freezer for a couple of hours beforehand is great. It means when you're ready to make ice cream, it's ready to make ice cream. Just push a button and go. In a pinch, I've used store-bought custard, good stuff from the, from the chilled department, and put that straight into the machine with pretty good results but the best results always come out when you make your own custard and you customize the flavor exactly how you want it. What's not so good, the flip side of not having a pail, not having a bucket inside, of it being a self-condensing machine is twofold. It's noisy, makes a hell of a racket. So much so, I generally make it live in the garage where it does its work so I don't have to hear it. Furthermore, it's also pretty heavy because it's got a whole freezer inside it. It also means it has quite a large footprint. I'll flash up the dimensions for you on screen right now so you can decide if it fits on your worktop. It's also around 400 pounds and only you can decide if that's worth it for the amount of ice cream you're going to make. Trust me, it's one of the best machines on the market for doing it. Over to you, do you have this machine? Do you like it? The things you wish it did that it doesn't do? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share and consider subscribing. That's all, thanks for watching.